We're going to discuss MedTech as a pre-med course, one of the most popular ones in the Philippines. It's going to be a long video, pero maraming insights. Ang dami kong natutunan, so sana kayo din. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Aura Hai, and I make videos for aspiring doctors. And specifically, this is part of a series wherein I'm featuring different pre-meds and med students to talk about their pre-med courses. Right, so for today, we have two guests again. First of all, this is Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Hi, guys. Mitch just finished med tech. She just graduated and passed the boards. Yes. Yeah. And currently, she's a part-time med tech. On-call, pero palagi siyang on-call. <laughs> and then, <laughs> planning to go to med school, diba, Mitch? Yeah. And also, we have Don. Hi, Don. Hi. Si Don naman, he's already done with med tech and med school. Yes. He's currently a postgraduate intern at HGH. Yes. Okay, so what is a med tech? Med tech is also called the med lab scientists. And they are highly skilled healthcare professionals who look for the presence or absence of disease and provide data that helps physicians determine the best treatment for their patients. Oh, diba? Kinapipaste ko lang yan. <laughs> Pero kayo, in your own words, in a nutshell, what is med tech? Medical technologists are medical professionals na that deals, analyzes um, body fluids, such as blood, urine, and whatsoever. Yan lang yung parang gist of it all, but there's the more in-depth things, di ba? <laughs> yung data siguro na nag-gather namin through analyzing those body fluids will help uh, physicians na uh, to plan their appropriate treatment for their patients. Yes. Kasi kayo, kailan nyo narinig for the first time yung med tech? Kasi di ba pag pumupunta tayo sa mm -hmm. hospital lang, nakikita lang natin doctors, nurses, mm -hmm. pero behind mm -hmm. the scenes, mayroong mas... Toxic na nagtatrabaho. <laughs> Kailan niyo unang narinig yung med tech? Um, high school, high school siguro. Ah. High school. Ah, oh, same. High school. So ultimately, when you were deciding what pre-med course to take, ano yung iba niyong kinonsider and how did you end up choosing med tech? Doon ko lang na-decide na med tech siguro dahil sa friend ko. One year higher siya sa akin. Tapos parang nag-story siya doon sa, ano, sa Facebook niya na na galing siya dito sa zoo and all. Oh, stress na. Mm -hmm. Mga ganun na bagay. Okay. Tapos ako parang okay na ba yung course mo? Ganun-ganun. Tapos, in-encourage niya ako na maganda yan, maganda yan. Tapos, ako parang na-engalio din ako. Parang, ah, yes. sige, sige. Bata pa pala to si Mitch, may social media na nung ano niya. Oo. Uh -uh. Panahon na. Ay, <laughs> Kasi kami, kwento-kwento <laughs> kwento lang ng si Tupita. Uh -uh. Ganyan. Totoo. Kasi Ikaw doon. Parang ako, nung <laughs> nag-decide ako nung kung anong pre-med yung course na kukunin ko. So parang sabi ko, mm -hmm. gusto ko ng science-related profession na may more job opportunities. Pero yes. at that time kasi, parang booming talaga yung nursing. Sabi ko, ay, yung competition ng uh, students entering nursing versus medical mm -hmm. technology is masyadong malaki. Marami yung nag-nursing. So sabi ko, ay, sige, mag-med tech na lang ako mm -hmm. at that time. Oh, in fairness naman, very informed yung mga decisions yeah. nyo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Hopefully, meron tayong matulungan ko eh. Okay. Mm. Speaking of job opportunities, ito yung mga career opportunities mm -hmm. ng isang medtech. Pero hindi nakasulat dito na isa siyang pre-med course. <laughs> uh -oh. It's mm -hmm. one of the most popular pre-med uh -oh. course. So, yun yung i-discuss natin today. So, now let's take a look at a sample curriculum. This one is from USP. Ito yung inaaral sa MedTech. Pag first year ito, puro major subjects. Mm -hmm. Ay, puro minor yeah, puro, subjects. Parang puro high mga, school in general. Uh, parang ganon. Oh, oh. Yung mga records by Chad. Mm -mm. Second year. More on histo. Pharma, yeah. Ay, may histo, histo na kayo dyan. Ano fisyo namin magkasama. So, wala. General. Talaga siya. Yeah, general anatomy mm -hmm. and physiology lunch. Kami din naman ng bio. Ano lang, happy mm -hmm. lang. Third year, majors niya na talaga to. Ayan na. Eh, yeah, Ayun. yung madugong yeah. laban. Grabe adjustment period ko niya. Oh, ano oh, yan? Oh majors God. yan. Like, clinical, uh, clinical subjects na kasi siya. So, siya din yung board exam subjects na kailangan mong aralin. Mukhang sobrang hirap, pero anong siya yung favorite niya? Na na-enjoy niyo naman kahit sobrang hirap. Wait lang, saan ang saan paborito ko? <laughs> siguro yung parang favorite ko is study ng paulit-ulit ng board. Siguro HIMA. HIMA. Nung boards. HIMA. Ah, yeah. okay. HIMA. Nice. Pero um, ako, kung like papipilin ako ng theory and lab work is micro para. Micro para. Yeah. Muntik na ako bumagsak dyan. <laughs> Inaral mo ng bongga mo. Um, so, ah. eh, yung, yung, professor, yung professor namin dyan, yung dean namin. So, parang 
Sabi ko, wow. shout out din Rodriguez. Kinausap niya ka after midterm exam niya. Sabi niya, alam mo, kayo po mag-excel. Oh. Parang after after no midterm exams, grabe yung aral ko. Yes. Grabe yung focus ko sa micro. Kaya, until med school, nadala ko siya. After mm. nung motivation na yon, sobrang <laughs> love ko siya. Kahit uh-uh. hirap na hirap ako siyang aralin. Fourth year, sa ibang school siyata, six months lang yung internship. Tapos sa iba, one year. Uh, nung time mm. ko, six mm-hmm. months pa kami. Pero alam ko, mm-hmm. parang af- uh, batches afterwards us is change nila to one year. <laughs> ano mas maganda? Six <laughs> months na lang or one year? One year ang gusto ko actually. <laughs> Kaya daw eh. Oh. Well, kasi masaya, advantage. masaya. Yung advantage kasi ng one year is mm-hmm. ma- more exposure tapos yes. to skills and practical knowledge. Pakita natin yung ginagawa talaga sa MedTech. Describe nyo ito mga uh-huh. po. Teka. Ayan. <laughs> wow. Ayan si Dona. Pinapakita nila yung mga tertiary labs talaga in within Manila. So, Hi, classmates. Oh, ito yung pregnancy test. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ideal pregnancy test. Ideal pregnancy yeah. test. Ideal pregnancy test. Ano ba? Pang, pang extract yan ng blood. Tapos oh may eclipse God. kasi yan. So parang ang ganda niyang <laughs> ano, hub. Hub Siyempre, yan. Ito pa yan na try. Ayan sila. Oh, hi guys. Ito pa. Ito Ayan. Yan. Mga nag-submit lang. Hi. Ay, oh, nice. Interns ka sila. Sa ngayon kabats ko. Oh. Ah, ah, hindi ko sila kilala do. <laughs> yeah, Bakte. Um, Bakte mm-mm. na lab. O yun ang past mga... rotation ko ng clerkship. Nagpaturo ako mm-hmm. once year sa mga medtech dun sa lab ng mm-hmm. UST. Ah, oh, selfie. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Duty yan. Nagsa-selfie siya. <laughs> yeah. Fresh pa. Ayan na ba? Nagpa-practice Ayan. kayo. Nagkuha ng dugo sa isa't isa. Ayan. Hindi na sa isa't isa. Minsan self pa. Oh, oh self oh, Benny. Oh. Minsan self-extraction. Ah, Parang ako pa-practice ng blood smear. Self oh, Benny oh. yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan, oh. Ah, Art seal, yeah. mm, smear. May different, different stains din ginagamit dyan. Kung for histology, mm-hmm. different different stains. Kung sa mm-hmm. hematology, True. mas simpler yung, ano, yung stains, di ba? So, parang, yeah. so oh. it's really critical kung mag- magkamali ka sa type of stains na ginagamit mo. Mm-hmm. Ito o nga. It, medtech talaga is the science behind <laughs> medicine. Ito, ba't nag-BBP? I think sa blood bank to. Di ba? Kung i-assist yeah, mo yung blood donors, kailangan mo i-get yung... Yeah, mm-hmm. o oh, nga pala, no? Yeah. May stat. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, ang dami talaga ang matututunan sa medtech. And now, let's see if MedTech as a course will help you get accepted to med school. Let's consider the GPA, the NMAT, the creds, and yung timeline. First is the timeline. What is the ideal schedule for someone determined to go to med school? Like, ano yung steps na kailangan niya i-take? So, ang ginawa ko kasi, nung after graduation, I decided talaga na mag uh, year off kasi mag-focus ako mm-hmm. ng boards kasi nga mm-hmm. if hindi ako magtuloy ng med school may backup plan talaga ako so March kasi yung graduation tapos ang uh, board exam is August so may ilang months to review after mm-hmm. nung nag-take ako ng board <laughs> exam ng August uh, nag-repeat ako ng NMAT ng December so doon ko na po yung gusto ko namang grades tapos wala hindi ako nag-work nag-year off talaga ako <laughs> nag yes. ako tapos pero nag apply ako ng med schools that time. Merong kilala na sure na siya na magna-med school siya. Mm-hmm. So, during intern year ng medtech, and mat na apply na, tapos hindi na siya mm-hmm. ng board exam. So, medyo palaban niya. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, kami, uh, wow. yung other friends ko, ang ginawa nila is that, uh, uh, nag mat during internship, then nagtuloy ng med school, then during med school, dun sila nag-boards. Palaban. Oh my God. Ay, nung second year, Second year, no? Uh, yung iba first year. At least nakapag-review na siya for second year. Yeah. Yes. And then, GPA-wise, uh, would you say that MedTech is ideal for someone who wants to have a high GPA talaga for med school purposes? For me, ha? Hindi siya nag matter kung anong, anong course na take mo. Mm. Um, from what I've learned from nung college, hindi lang talaga yan sa, sa course mo, but more on kung kano kakasipag Every course has its own advantages. So, siguro, mm-hmm. yeah, I would recommend the, the course. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na yan talaga ang best. Siguro, uh, depende lang yan sa person. Yung batch kasi namin, so parang uh, yung valley namin kasi, yung sa medtech is cum laude. Mm-hmm. So, unlike sa other schools na may magna sila, may suma sila, mm-hmm. sabi ko, ay, mahirap talaga yung medtech. 
pero kahit saan ka naman pumunta ng university, uh, mahirap siya in general. Pero lahat ng mm-hmm. courses, kahit anong course yung kunin mo, hindi wala naman kasi ako na yung pag-abot ng mataas sa GPA, hindi siya nagbamatter ko anong course. Depende yun sa tao kung gagalingin niya or magpo-focus yes, siya sa Yes, exactly. Kaya, sabi naman ng isang friend, kaya, kasi exam-exam, pero kasi info over mm-hmm. info talaga, na parang sobrang... Uh-huh. Uh, yes, oo, grabe. Ito siya sa talino, time management daw. Tsaka syempre yung... Mm-hmm. Tapos, okay. ihati mo pa siya sa lab hours mo. Tapos parang, nag-mix na siya, so parang wala kang proper sleep din, kaya ika na ng resulta. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yun. <laughs> Anyway, so that's it for GPA. Okay, how about NMAT? Do you feel that MedTech prepared you for NMAT or did you have to self-study? Alam <laughs> uh, na. <laughs> sige. So, ako yung IT sir kasi hindi pa nag-NMAT si Mitch. Marami mm-hmm. naman kasi akong batchmates before na nakakuha sila ng matataas sa GPA. Ay, matataas sa NMAT scores. I mean, Mm-mm. in general, para sa akin, yung NMAT, parang general knowledge kasi siya. Mm-hmm. Para siyang, ano, upcut exam. Pero, Mm-mm. kasi yung course natin, kung i-base ko siya dun sa topics of the exam, parang siguro somehow helpful lang. Last lang. Uh, Ito yung components kasi ng NMAT. Parang siguro helpful in terms of bio and chemistry. Mm-hmm. Pero kasi in general, yung other parts, parang uh, gist lang nung, nung parts na yun. Yung, parang yung... pa-familiarize lang. <laughs> Oo, yeah. Oo, true. Ganon. Same talaga. Kailangan na self-study. For yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sipag pa rin. How about yung extracurricular activities that you can do as a medtech student? Uh, alam ko, ayan o, no? pwede kayo pumunta abroad, depende sa school. Mm-hmm. Tapos, mm. sana all. Okay. Sana all. <laughs> Blood drives, alam ko. Yeah. Tapos. Uh, I think yan yung pinaka-most na ginagawa namin as medtechs. Uh, blood drive talaga. You should donate blood kasi uh, yung isang bag na yan can be uh, separated into different components uh, na, na specifically needed for a specific patient. Yan. And then aside from yung mga blood drives, marami rin kayong research opportunities. Yung iba nga napapublish pa. So, good rin yun for med school application. Okay, so now let's move on to our second main question. Will med tech as a course help you adjust or even excel when you're in medical school already? Maganda ba yung foundation na makukuha mo sa med tech? Start tayo sa basic medical subjects. So, alin dito yung mga subjects na meron na kayo nung pre-med pa lang? Histology, pharmacology, micro... Genetics, wala ako. Wala ah, okay. ako genetics. Meron kami, ah. pero cytogenetics specifically. Immuno for oh. sure. <laughs> Immuno for research sure. Research meron. Uh, research for sure. <laughs> Ito yung strengths niya talaga, mga histo... Histo and para. Oh, oh. para. Yun, micro para. Mm-mm. Patho ba? Patho? Patho. Patho, yes. oo. Sinabayan siya ng histo. Histopatho. Yeah, histopatho uh, kasi siya. Uh-uh. What about yung clinical subjects? Meron ba ditong na-introduce na sa inyo as early as pre <laughs> Wala. Wala. Zero. Nice. Okay. Wala. Zero. Zero. I think, wala. Uy, feeling ko naman I am kahit pa paano. Oo, kasi mga hima. I am, oo. Oh, hima, siguro chem, immune, ganyan. Oo, no? oh, mga ganun. Mm-hmm. Yan, mm-hmm. immuno, pero, pero hindi talaga siya yung <laughs> clinically, uh-uh. yes. Uh-uh. Okay. Pero in terms of skills and exposure, ito, madami kayo nito. So, so laboratory, uh, syempre. Syempre. Perform yes. experiments. Experiments. Experiment. <laughs> research. <laughs> oh, dami yan. Experiment, Experiments, research, research P- paper. P.E. P- uh, wala. Wala, wala. Wala. Okay. Patient, Patient communication. communication for for yes. sure. Meron. Yes. Handling hospital and medical equipment. Mostly yes. lab related. Sa lab. Uh-uh. <laughs> Sa clinical yes. care. Yes. Yeah. Drawing, drawing uh-uh. specimen. Okay, ito. Complete the sentence. You should take med tech if you want your future specialty to be blank. Ano yung mga specialties na ideal for med tech? Mm-mm. Pathology. Uh, marami na sabi patho, pero may isang nag- uh, response sa survey. Tapos, totoo, nag-agree ako. Maganda daw yung medtech mm. for IM. Kasi, mm-hmm. IM yung nagda-diagnose din. So, sila yung yes. pinaka nag re sa labs. And at yes. the same time, yung mga subspecs ng IM, like HEMA, yes. immunology, mm-hmm. kung gusto mo, kahit na infectious disease, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, 
I am. Yes, bagong <laughs> inside for I me. am. Nice. Actually, okay. kahit pedia, 10% of the time of the diagnosis relies on the labs. Then yes. naman, if pagdating mo mm-hmm. ng pedia. And I am. So, yeah. Yes. Ito, sige. For Don, tong question na to, kasi siya yung nasa med school. For you, what makes a med tech grad stand out in medicine? Yun nga, na pag usapan natin yung basic subjects nung time na yun. Kasi medyo familiar na siya sa akin. Tapos parang, uh, parang going through med-, med tech again, yung mga subjects na yon So, siguro yun yun. Like, for example, histo, pa, uh, micropaga, lalo na if may hima topics dun sa exam. Lalo na yung, yung patho, yung patho ng second year, yun yung medtech. As in, apat na taon kong pinag-aralan, pag-aaralan ko sa isang taon. So, ah. parang more of parang... review na lang yun nangyayari. Ooh. Kailangan mo pa rin mag-aral. Pero, yun nga, on terms mm-hmm. of that, medyo nag excel kami. Mm-hmm. Number two is that uh, clinical procedures, syempre. Pagdating kasi ng clerkship or internship dahil nag-fleb na tayo, parang yung other uh, procedures na pwede natin gawin like IV insertion, IFC insertion, uh, NGT, OGT, parang mm-hmm. madali na tayo maka-adjust kasi nag-clinical procedures na tayo. Pangatlo is yun nga, we can interpret laboratory uh, results na parang isang kita mo pa lang doon sa lab results, ah, may problema to sa ganito. Baka mm-hmm. ganito siya. Sometimes, maybe, kung confirmatory test siya, nakapag-diagnose tayo yung diseases, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Then, siguro lastly, kahit pa paano, meron ta- kaming hospital exposure na parang alam na namin kung paano yung sistema yes. ng hospital. Hi, totoo yan lahat. Yes. <laughs> ano pa, actually, advantage nyo rin is nakakapagturo kayo sa mga classmates nyo. Ang sarap din sa Actually, feeling. Actually, true yun. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pag nung, tuturuan mo sila pa, kung anong dugo, tuturuan mo sila sa pato, mm-hmm. mga ganon. Nagiging proud naman ako. Sabi ko, hey, hindi sayang yung lisensya ko. Sabi ko, ganon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> parang, if may times na hard, uh, difficult extraction talaga yung patient, parang nakatatlong tusok na sila, eh, doon, nalika dito, patulong uh-huh. naman. So, oh, parang may times na... Pag ganun na strap. Oo. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. <parang>, nasa ng pasyente? <laughs> <laughs> nasa na siya. Tara na, sa, saan tayo? Ganyan. Pero kasi siyempre, hindi, pa hindi pa rin yun parang uh, assessment mo na magaling ka. Kasi siyempre, mga Mm-mm. patients na talaga kahit ako, parang mahirap talaga siyang kuhan. Mm-hmm. Mahirap talaga siyang kuhan. Na kailangan mo true, 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 sa true. resident, di ba? So, Pero yeah. yung, yung confidence na, sige, try ko, or yung professionalism, tsaka yung kung oh, paano oh. mo aamuhin yung pasyente, Mm-mm. alam oh. nyo na. Alam yung parang yun. kayo mo i-mask yung face mo mm-hmm. sa kaba mo. Yung, uh, parang, uh, parang ano lang, poker face. Lang. Pero parang, siguro nasanay tayo sa patient interaction is pag-pedia yung patient. Tapos oh, ang kailangan oh. mo amuhin is the mother or yung and lola. Mother, the, the and lola. lola <laughs> kailangan <laughs> confident ka on doing the procedures. Kasi yes. pag napansin mm-hmm. nila na parang ay, kinakabahan siya, pinagpapawisan mm-hmm. siya. Hala, baka makalimang tusok to. Ayaw nila. So, parang Dapat marunong so, kailang... ka magsalita din sa kanila. Mm, kailangan mong amuhin. Mm-hmm. Ito para sa akin yung pinaka-importanting part ng video. So, who do you think will love this course and who should avoid it? Pero before that, pakita ko sa inyo yung answers ng iba. Tapos sabihin niyo kung nag agri kayo. May nagsabi na, sa sigradong gusto magdoktor at hindi alam kung anong pre-med nila pero sure na gustong magdoktor. Mas applicable siguro to if tayo. Kung sigurado oh, siya, oh. manodoktor siya. Why pero hindi sigurado. Pa. Pero if kung hindi ka sure, if indecisive ka, go to uh, other science-related na Mm-mm. profession. Nursing, okay. medtech, PT. PT. If not oh, sure. Nice. Uh, ito. For skeptical learners, tama naman, di ba? Matututo ka maging skeptic. Oh. Very scientific oh, oh. kasi kayo. Mm-mm. Very accurate, oh. precise, oh. evidence-based. Mm-mm. Yun. So, kung enjoy kayo dyan, true ba? Yeah. Tapos, wag daw to kasi less patient interaction. Tama. Oh, well, eh. Yun nga sabi ko kanina. If you are, parang, mas gusto mo ng more patient interaction kasi nga, uh, you're that type of person, why not do uh, PT or nursing? Yes, parang exactly. Mas, reco- yes, yes. mas recommended uh-huh. yun if, if yun yung goal. Ito yeah. pa. Medtech is overwhelming for college students. Sobrang info overload daw. True yan. Yeah. Lalo yeah. na pagdating mo ng third year. Ito naman. More of lab-based. Very repetitive daw yung ginagawa. Kailangan mo daw maging patient and responsible. Mm. 
actually I wouldn't recommend this course kung ayaw mm. mo ng routine based work kasi Uh-oh. you will just do the same thing every day you analyze uh samples yeah nice good insight yun. kasi some people mm-hmm. naman they prefer na may routine alam na nila yes. alam nila may system yes. so Mm-mm. it's up to you talaga up and to then them. people who will enjoy this those who love experiments oh, true True yan. True. Yung mahilig talaga <laughs> sa science. Oo. Oh, oh. yes, yes. Especially sa research, ang saya. Mm. Cute. And then, ito medyo, if afraid ka daw of blood and fluids, wag daw. Eh, Pero, kasi, oh, syempre. Mm-hmm. Actually, ako ang iniisip ko dyan, kung takot kayo sa needle, mag na kayo para hindi na kayo matakot. Oh. ba? Diba? Feeling uh, ko lang. Pwede din. Mm-hmm. Pwede din. Kung gusto niyo talaga mag-doctor, kung gusto niyo i-overcome yung fear na yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Depende lang talaga yun sa capability ng tao kung ano talaga ang limit nila. Kung uh, kaya yes. nila, sige, go. Uh, Why not? Yes. Mm. Diba? Yes. May dagdag kayo dyan. If nag-expect sila na ano, na easy lang dahil lang, yun nga, routine-based, repetitive, mm-hmm. whatsoever, experiment-based, I wouldn't recommend kung yan lang talaga ang type of thinking nila. Kasi it's not just that. Kaya meron pa kasing ano, again, deeper, deeper insights na kailangan ma-learn. Yung parang hindi mo inakala na may ganun pala. Maganda yung sinabi mo, which sa survey, sabi mo something like, avoid nyo if yung isip nyo lang na dahil ito yung best pre-med course. ba diba? Oo, oh, oh, yeah. Ay- ayoko yan. Yung parang sabihin lang nila na, ay kasi yan ang, pre- ang best pre-med course. Parang wala talagang best pre-med yes. course mm-hmm. for me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Kung itatake nyo lang yung medtech for the sake of med school, hindi kayo mm-hmm. mag-e-enjoy sa medtech. Or parang, Mm-mm. baka i-resent nyo pa or hindi kayo mag-aaral kasi hindi kayo nag enjoy nung time na yon Na mm. akong friends na ganun. <laughs> di ba? Na parang, mm-hmm. ba't nagme-medtech ako? Dapat ganito na lang course ako. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko naman mag-med. Parang ganun lang. Mm-hmm. Actually, Pero, yeah. another thing pala is, di ba since mahirap nga yung medtech or mm-hmm. sobrang in-depth talaga, may nagsabi naman mm-hmm. na, bakit ko papahirapan yung sarili ko ng college kung papahirap ako na yung sarili ko ng med school? Why not mas chill na lang daw na pre-med ko? Sa med school na lang ako mag In- Oh my. <laughs> Can you say? Ayoko yung na-comment. Yung parang okay. magpa-chill ka lang at first tapos mm. maano na, parang mag-at-war ka na pag-med. Hindi, mas nice okay. kung masanay ka na. Kaya para... Yes, kasi pag nag-start kayo early, mas maaga rin kayo mag-mature. Totoo yun. Mm, mas maaga mag- yung madadevelop adjust. yung mga skills na kailangan for med yes. I think siguro, ano na lang, sa adjustment na lang ng tao pagdating niya ng med school. Kasi meron talagang mga taong talagang mabilis mag-adjust. For example, siguro ako na lang. Parang mas mm-hmm. nag excel ako if mas natotox ko. Kaya siguro ako na sa PGH. Mm-hmm. Na parang, mas, parang... Depende uh, talaga sa tao kung saan kayo nag-thrive. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yun. Yeah, I, alam ko na, I think yung mga batang studios yung mga mm. mahilig magplano sa buhay. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yung mga gusto mga mag-doctor, tas, ano gusto rin ng backup na maganda, mm-hmm. na high demand. Mm-hmm. Tapos mm-hmm. yung mag enjoy sa science talaga. Yes. yes. mag enjoy yes, yes. behind the scenes, mag enjoy kahit na hindi masyadong patient interaction. Yes. Mm-mm. Yun. Okay. Okay, so yung mga iba kong in-interview, lahat sila sinabi nila, hindi nila papalitan yung pre-med course nila. So, ibahin ko yung question ko sa inyo. If not med okay. tech, knowing what you know now about yourself, your mm-hmm. likes, dislikes, mm-hmm. would you consider another pre-med course? Siguro PT. Siguro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kasi, dami kasi akong friends na PT. Tapos parang doon ko na parang na, na, na sa Parang, ang ganda, ang ganda. Kung, kung hindi ako ng med tech, baka yan siguro yung course ko. Parang mm-hmm. mga ganun. Kasi amazing yung work nila eh. Panoorin mm-hmm. niyo rin pala guys, may video ako about PT. Anyway, yeah, no watch for it. Don, ikaw. May iba ka pa bang ako, course na nakikita mo sarili mo? Ayun nga, kung hindi talaga ako uh, magbimetric, siguro nag-nursing talaga. Sa family kasi namin, parang ako yung panganay. So parang, mm-hmm. parang napangaralan yeah, ako. You. Na parang, di ba, mahili ka naman sa science, mm-hmm. ganyan. Mm-hmm. Why not take a course kung saan parang, maraming job opportunities talaga mm-hmm. at that time practical yeah, nursing or yeah practical mm-hmm. talaga nursing right. or medtech and finally to end this what is your advice for aspiring medtechs and aspiring doctors si Mitch muna aspiring medtechs siguro dapat hindi kayo mag give up especially kung nag fail kayo or na delay it really doesn't matter kasi in the end of the day once you pass the boards once naging medtech ka you're still an, a medtech 
it's worth the challenge, worth the delays, worth everything. Bahala na, basta, as long as you continue. And especially, dapat love mo. So, parang mm-hmm. keep on doing that. If you aspire okay. to be a medical technologist. Yes, ito yan. Don't give up. Mapapatanong ka talaga sa sarili mo, ba't ako nandito? Pero tuloy-tuloy lang kayo, guys. Tuloy lang. Okay, Don, ikaw. Aspiring doctors. Advice for them. Ayan, siguro part na to para din sa yung Mitch, no? So, <laughs> we all know, <laughs> we all know naman, going through med school talaga is emotionally tiring, physically draining, tsaka mentally exhausting talaga. Nakakapagod, alam natin yan. Pero for future generation of healers talaga, I would uh, suggest that always remember the value of compassion and empathy. Alam mo kasi, parang through the process, marami ako nakikitang doctors na nawawala yon Yung yeah. compassion and empathy to, mm-hmm. uh, to those patients na na-encounter nila. And sana yun yung mm-hmm. hindi mawala kasi uh, kaya tayo nandito kasi para sa mga pasyente natin, hindi dahil para sa sarili natin. Yes. Diba? Yes, yes. Yes. Agree. That's a that's a very nice way to end this discussion. Thank you so yes. much, Don and Mitch. Thank you. Yes. Art. Yes. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> if you're a med tech student or graduate at gusto niyo ng makidagdag sa ating discussion, please comment below. Answer any of the questions that I asked them. And if you wanna help me create the next video about your pre med, then join this Facebook group. Art. Okay. And thank you so much again, Don and you. for your time. <laughs> Sobra, I hope maraming matutulungan to. And marami rin na-enlighten kasi ina-assume lang nila lahat na go kayo sa medtech. Pero marami pa palang dapat malaman about it before kayo mag-commit. Yes. So I'm so yes. glad that you took the time mm-hmm. to explain this. Thank you and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye! Yes, you're welcome. Bye! bye. You're welcome, Paul.